Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a shadow effect on a line chart. Uh, you can see for example here we have our line chart and there's a shadow behind it. It gives it a little bit more of a dramatic effect, something where you may want to put into a PowerPoint. Now, in, maybe it's something where you want, don't want to show with actual data. Maybe you want to show something where you can show a line that's going up or a line that's going down and give it some dramatic uh, visual appeal to a PowerPoint slideshow. And you can create it within Excel and then copy it over to PowerPoint. It's probably not a good idea in general for your data inside of Excel. If you really wanted to show real data and try things out, and you just want to show uh, something visually appealing, you might want to create this shadow effect. So let's see how you do that. Let me go ahead and copy this table data here. Let me go into another tab to put that. Control C to copy. Let me go into Sheet 2 here. Control V to paste. Let me go ahead and increase the uh, view size here. And all you need to do is basically insert your chart. Let me insert my line chart here. Select the line chart here. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the legend here. Delete that. Remove the grid lines here. Go ahead and select one of the grid lines below there. And delete that. And all I need to do is select on the line itself. And then I can go under Format, go under Shape Effects, and there's these predefined shadow effects. I can go ahead and look. Maybe I want to have the outer or offset inner, offset bottom. I kind of like this offset diagonal bottom left and I'll go ahead and select that. You notice now it's kind of there. It's a little, a little bit below the line. If I want to kind of extend it out a little bit, all I need to do is right click, select that line again, or if it's not selected, and go ahead and go to Format Data Series. And under the shadow here, now I have some options to play with. And basically, if I want to offset that a little bit further, you can just increase the distance. Let me go ahead and make maybe make that double it to maybe six or seven. Uh, and go ahead and click Close and go ahead and let me let me click out of there and we see we have our shadow effect so this makes a little bit more sense if you want to kind of copy something for just a a, a picture of uh, a chart going up or a chart going down and it's kind of more of a visual prop when you really think about it so you can kind of copy and paste it into PowerPoint now again if you wanted to use this for real sales data probably not a good idea because it may obscure the real data but if you want to take something really easy and kind of put it into a PowerPoint slide this is how you can create a shadow effect on the line and copy and put it into a presentation slide so I hope this helps thanks for watching